Hey guys, welcome to Excel channel again and in this another episode of lookup function and formula in Excel, we are going to cover lookup formula which is two way lookup in Excel using the best combo in lookup function which is index match function. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because in the upcoming days we are going to learn so much about each and every functionality of Excel. So let's get started. So this is the same set of data here which we have covered in the VLOOKUP and here we have the roll number, first name, last name, email and we have this sorting table done. First we have created the drop down list of these roll numbers here like here whenever you click any roll number here it the first name changes accordingly which we have done in with the help of VLOOKUP function which you can see here but if you want to learn this function VLOOKUP you can also do that if you want to learn this VLOOKUP function you can find a link in the description of it where we have covered in detail functionality of this function so we have two values left to cover here which we are going to solve in upcoming minutes so we have a last name to fill and the email of these students okay so what is two way lookup or you can say two column lookup two column lookup is we are going to locate these values in two different columns here okay first we need to locate position of jms and roll number eight which is also jms or hames however you want to pronounce in this table okay so how we are going to do that we are going to do that with the help of match function to locate position of a value is match and to locate the value we have an index function so by now if you have watched those videos index and match you should know by now how these two function works so first we need to enter a match function here so we have a lookup value which will be these two so there will be a two column lookup so how to select these two just click on first sorting table which is the g4 and you need to put a and percent operator like this and put the second value here and in the next column lookup array first we need to select g4's array or you can say range so row number array is this and you can also do that with the help of absolute reference using f4 you can just lock it up and i'm just going without it and for the g5 part you need to enter a range here by adding the same operator and person and we have a first name column here right and yes we need an exact match so we will select just zero here let's see if we can find a position of roll number eight hames so yes we get the position which is eight which is also related to the roll number right now we need to enter the value which is the last name here so we need to locate that value and put it here so how are we gonna do that we're gonna do that with the help of index function you just need to enter an index function here like here. you just need to fill first reference or array here which is the last name and there you go just put a comma here and close the parenthesis of this formula let's see if we can find that or not so yes we have a hamish jota here which is your number eight so that's how you can resolve the same so let's see if we really did this correct or not yes so you got the little sorting table here if you want to download this sheet you can also find the link in the description and so we get the email part left so for the email part we are going to do the same but this time we are going to select these two columns not the row number okay so let's see so we know how to use these two functions so we just going to directly enter index here and if you want to practice it by yourself you can pause the video right now and just go to the practice of the same and here we going going to find the email part so let's just select this range here and in the next row number you just need to enter the match here function and the lookup value will be two first and last name so this and person g6 right and the lookup array will be two for the g5 part first name so here is the first and percent and for the second is the last name here is the second so match type will be the exact and close the parenthesis for match and then 
close the parenthesis for index again and let's see if we can find that with the help of these two values so yes we get the answer for this same so we got the little sorting table here you just need to check any row number here and you can do the same with your own data if you have some sales data and you want to create a, some sorting table like this so you can go ahead you can create it with the help of this powerful combo which is index match function so if you learn something please click the like button if you want to know more about these functions and functionality of excel then you can subscribe to this channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye